obstructions. And please do not block exit doorways. Thank you for attending today's event.
Chancellor Brown, the graduating students have now assembled for the fall 2019 fall commencement exercises for the Colleges of Arts and Sciences, Education and Allied Professions, and the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts. Please remain standing as we pause for a moment of silent reflection on the special meeting of this day. Thank you. Please join in singing the national anthem led by Madison Garris, a senior in the psychology program in the College of Education and Allied Professions. Ms. Garris is graduating in this morning's ceremony. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Oh, <laughs> 
You may be seated. <clears throat> Graduates and distinguished guests, it is a pleasure and an honor to welcome each of you to the 2019 Fall Commencement Ceremony for students in the Colleges of Arts and Sciences, Education and Allied Professions, and the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts at Western Carolina University. Please allow me to recognize members of the platform party who do not have speaking roles in the commencement ceremony. I ask them to stand and remain standing as I call their names. Please hold your applause until I've introduced them all. First, members of the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees, Mr. Bob Roberts, Vice Chair. Mr. Casey Cooper, Ms. Kathy Greeley, Mr. Tim Haskett, Mr. Kenny Messer, and Mr. David Rode, SGA President and member of the Board of Trustees. WCU Administrative Staff, Dr. Sam Miller, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Mr. Mike Byers, Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, Ms. Jamie Rayner, Interim Vice Chancellor for Advancement. Dr. A.J. Gruby, Acting Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Chip Ferguson, Associate Dean of the College of Engineering and Technology. Dr. Doug Keskala, Dean of the College and Health of Human Sciences. Dr. Ferenzi Razi, Dean of the Hunter Library. Representing all faculty, Dr. Enrique Gomez, Faculty Senate Chair. Representing all staff, Ms. Allison Joseph, Staff Senate Chair. Assisting with the distribution of diplomas is Dr. Lowell Davis, Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Success, Mr. Larry Hammer, Registrar, and Mrs. April Newland, Conferral Specialist. Please join me in recognizing these institutional leaders. Mr. Philip Byers, member of the University of North Carolina Board of Governors, will now bring greetings from the board and from the office of the president. Thank you. Good morning and greetings from the UNC System Board of Governors. To our graduates and their families and friends, WCU alumni, Chancellor Kelly Brown, and the Board of Trustees, the university's faculty and staff, and members of the platform party. It is an honor and pleasure for me to bring a message of greetings and congratulations from the UNC System Office, the UNC Board of Governors, Chairman Randy Ramsey, and all fellow members of the UNC Board of Governors. To you graduates, it is a delight to look around today and see the joy on your faces and on the faces of your family. Some of your families were like mine when I, were here, when I graduated. They're shocked and surprised. And to share your excitement with each of you. Collectively, we acknowledge the long hours of hard work it took for you to get to this point. We honor you today for the commitment you have demonstrated to better your life by obtaining this degree. In doing so, you not only have done something important for yourself and your families, you have accomplished something that improves our communities and our entire world. As individuals, each of you has much to celebrate, but we here at Western Carolina University uh, have reached a lot of milestones recently, and I wanted to mention a few of those. So this will be like a, a little walk down memory lane for some of you. First, I would be remiss if I did not mention the dynamic leadership being provided by our new Chancellor, Kelly Brown, who hit the ground running. I would ask that you join me in a round of applause for our new Chancellor and the great job that she is doing. I'll be in trouble for that one. Dr. Brown has been a very 
a very busy person since July the 1st. Over the past five months, she has met with various stakeholders across North Carolina and the Southeast. I know Dr. Brown has been very impressed by WCU's faculty and staff and their dedication to student academics and overall student experience here in Cullowee. One example of that great work of your faculty is a 1.25 million grant recently received from the United States Department of Education, or just recently announced, uh, to work in areas for training of students to work with children with autism. What a great grant and what great results will come from that here in Cullowee and across North Carolina. Also, could I not mention your awesome Pride of the Mountains marching band? which performed for a second time at Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade in New York City just a couple weeks ago. The band first appeared there five years ago. It's very rare for a band to be asked to return for a second time. I would ask that you also join me in a round of applause for the most outstanding band that I have ever heard perform. Just think about that worldwide audience twice in five years. I saw it 20 times because my sisters recorded it and made sure I watched it several times over the Thanksgiving weekend. Outstanding. While I'm, I'm going over recent university milestones, I don't want to forget to mention the hot commodity that Western Carolina University is and an institution has once again set a record for enrollment this fall with 12,000 catamounts. Unbelievable. When I was here, I won't even tell you how many students were here when I was here because then you'll start figuring out how old I am. A variety of factors are playing into the surging enrollment at Western Carolina University. The greatest of that is the quality of academics here, the faculty, the staff, the leadership, and of course, NC Promise which lowers the cost of tuition and makes attending the university more affordable for all students and their families. Great things are happening in Cullowee and across the entire state of North Carolina. Collectively, our 17 UNC campuses comprise a public university system that is among the best in the country. You graduates will receive the benefit of that reputation as you go into the workforce or continue your education. As you go about living your lives, I encourage you to take the time to savor the memories of your time at Western Carolina University. Stay connected to this university and the people of this university. Say a special thanks to those who helped you achieve what you have achieved today, being your families, your parents, your friends, and especially the faculty and staff here at this great institution. Congratulations. Enjoy this day. Thank you for being part of the Catamount family. Thank you, Mr. Byers. We certainly appreciate your words and congratulations to our students and your participation in today's ceremony and bringing, bring, and bringing greetings from the Board of Governors and from the Office of the President. I would now like to introduce Mr. Bryant Kenney, Chair of the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees, who will now bring greetings. Thank you, Chancellor Brown, today's graduates, to our alumni, to Chancellor Kelly Brown, and by the way, welcome, I believe, to your first commencement ceremony. And that's wonderful. We're glad to have you and honored to have you here to this university's distinguished faculty and staff and members of the platform party. It is my great pleasure to bring greetings, congratulations, and well wishes from members of the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees. On behalf of your Board of Trustees, congratulations. You did it. We're really, really proud of you. During these past few years in Cullowee, I know you've developed lifelong friendships and memories. You've also received a great education. That education will help prepare you for your life ahead 
and what you have in front of you to come. Now it's your turn to truly show the world what you can do. You're our future, the future of this wonderful mountain region, this great state of North Carolina, our nation, and our world. So no pressure. <laughs> but we're all dependent on you. But I'm confident you're not going to let us down. I get questions from students sometimes is exactly what does a board of trustees do? Well, I want you to know that one of the best parts of our job is bragging. And just like your parents, grandparents, siblings, and friends scattered around you today, we brag about you a lot. We brag about your success in the classroom, in undergraduate research, in community service, about you being players of the week for various SOCON sports, about your artwork and your performances. And yes, Governor Byers, we also brag about sending 535 students and a bunch of other people totaling around 950 to New York City so millions around this world could find out what a catamount was all about. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for all you do, and more importantly, for what you will do to make us proud, because we are truly all very, very proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. We are grateful for your support and the presence from the Board of Trustees here this morning and for your sentiments as chair. Now it is my pleasure to recognize Dr. Richard Starnes, interim provost, who will introduce the commencement speaker. Each year, a graduating WCU student is selected to deliver remarks to our graduating students, and a committee of faculty and staff from across campus rev review those submissions. Without fail, the committee receives entries from remarkable students in all of our colleges and are faced with the difficult task of selecting a speaker. I would like to thank the commencement speaker committee of 2019 for their hard work in choosing a dynamic, energetic, and dedicated speaker for this fall's morning commencement ceremony. The students selected graduates with honors today from the College of Education and Allied Professions, receiving a bachelor's degree in birth to kindergarten education. She has demonstrated a true commitment to academic excellence, earning a spot on the dean's list every semester of her enrollment. She is already applying her skills professionally within the region and plans to continue her educational journey in a graduate program. Before I yield the microphone, I would like to present our speaker, Ms. Mary Hill Lewis, with a plaque on behalf of WCU and the Academic Affairs Division commemorating your selection as the 2019 Fall Commencement Speaker. Congratulations. Graduating catamounts, faculty, staff, and esteemed family and friends, please join me in welcoming Ms. Mary Hill Lewis to the podium. Good morning, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you for being here to share this day with us. I was once lovingly told that it's a great surprise I didn't turn out dumber than a box of rocks. Today, I would like to share the journey of how I, Mary Lewis, defeated all odds and persevered to stand to speak with you today as part of the graduating class of 2019. To my peers, as you sit anxiously awaiting your degree today, I ask you to envision with me just a moment our futures. Our futures beyond the tassels, the funny hats, and the sea of purple present here today. For in this exact moment, a dream is being realized for me and each of you. Take it in and be proud of all that you have achieved. Thank you for sharing this moment and allowing me to speak to you. Thank you to my family and supporters. They have helped me find the courage, the strength, and the ability to stand here with each of you today. I am filled with gratitude as I am in awe of the mercy and success that has been granted to me. One of my papa's favorite sayings as he surveyed his family and home was, I have to drink from the saucer as my cup runneth over. Today, 
surrounded by all of you, my cup runneth over. As I share my story today, I hope that each of you can reflect on your own story and those that have inspired you to search for the power within yourself to achieve your goals. At a very young age, I had to learn to fight for what many others my age took for granted, mere survival. My father passed away suddenly when I was three and my birth mother was never able to recuperate mentally from the loss of her spouse. My childhood was filled with struggles. Simple necessities such as food and education were out of my reach. Childhood was not a safe harbor as drugs and alcoholism ruled the life of my mother. In the years after my father's death, home was not a warm and welcoming place. My mother remarried several times, each time adding additional siblings. Siblings that would rely on me for care, although I was under the age of 10. I often found myself as a young child protecting three younger siblings and fighting for our survival as our mother continued on a downward spiral. Survival was top priority in my formative years. For 10 years after my father's death, I lived between foster homes and the unstable home of my biological mother. It would seem that my mother's story would become my own, that history would repeat itself. But there was a definitive moment in my life when at the age of 13, I was blessed beyond measure to find my forever home. A stable home that provided love and the necessities of a hot meal, a safe and warm place to sleep so that education could become a top priority in my life. And yes, even the occasional discipline came with this home. It was in this home that I was gifted a new chance at success. All I had to do was reach out and take control of my own destiny by letting go of the angry, rebellious persona I had carried for so many years. It took years of emotional support and love from this family for me to accept that I was actually part of a real family. With the encouragement and support of my family, I became the first in my maternal biological family to ever graduate high school. Soon after my graduation, I married and moved away from home. I became a mother at the age of 21, one of the proudest moments of my life. I poured heart and soul into raising my daughter for 18 years. Life was difficult at times during these years as I went through a divorce and the struggles of single parenting, but I had an unconditional love for my daughter that always carried us through. My daughter graduated high school with honors when I was 39 years old. I had broken the cycle of foster care for my daughter. As she moved to Raleigh to attend college, an empty nest reminded me once again that after 18 years of motherhood, I needed to find a venue to improve my own perception of myself. For 39 years, I fought to find some validity to, myself, to my existence, struggled with feelings of depression, and I was void of self-esteem. I often worked two or three jobs at once with no feeling of reward. I spent all these years searching for something, something that would make me proud of myself. I had no idea that what I was seeking could be found in higher education. I began to pursue an associate degree at a local community college at the same time my daughter started college. I realized in a short time after beginning, this was the challenge I needed. My heart and mind were ready for higher education as a lifetime of struggle had molded me into a warrior. Today, higher education has made me proud of myself, has allowed me to feel that I am just as important as all those around me, and I can honestly say has healed my heart of childhood traumas. Advocating for young children is my passion in life, as every child deserves a voice. I will accept every opportunity to speak up for a child with passion, as no child should ever have to experience the heartache I had to overcome. My education will provide opportunities that will never be in the realm of my possibilities. In addition to working full time as a child care director, I am a mother, a nanny, a daughter, and a wife. I have completed three degrees, two associate degrees, and today my bachelor's degree in less than six years. I do not say this to you to brag, but to encourage you to reach deep inside and find the power to believe in yourself and achieve your goals. Today is not the end of my journey. My education will continue as Dr. Mary sounds perfect. <laughs> in my three years as a catamount, I have achieved a variety of accomplishments. My resume looks superb thanks to the education I have received from the support of my professors. To Jennifer Bosworth, Western Alumni and Department Chair of Early Education at AB Tech, I say thank you. 
Thank you for being there from the beginning. To Dr. Caitlin Bargreen, thank you for your support and guidance. I will never forget your words of encouragement when I often felt this last semester was going to be impossible. You kept pushing and encouraging, and here we are. Now, as I continue on my journey, I will remember the reality of my childhood as the foundation of the person I am today. Yet it is only chapter one of my memoirs, a true success story, a story that I hope to share one day in a book entitled, Dumber Than a Box of Rocks, But Always Striving for More. You may wonder why this phrase is mentioned again and why it has such a profound meaning to me. These words were shared with me at an old kitchen table by a man that believed in me, a man that loved me as a daughter. He was a man of few words, but when he spoke, we all listened. The night before he passed away, he told me that he always expected I would grow up dumb as a box of rocks. Then he flashed me that famous grin and laughed, and he said, Nah, I take that back, sis. You're going to be okay. This was his way of telling me he was proud. Melanie Beatty, an author of self-help books and recovery specialist states, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, and a stranger into a friend. These words summarize my experience from Western Carolina University. My doubts have been transformed into success. My denial of believing I'm capable of succeeding in life has now turned into acceptance of all that I am and all that I will continue to be. Western Carolina University has taught me to live in the moment, to take the vacation, to cheer extra loud with my fellow catamounts at the football games regardless of the score. Because this has become my nation. Class of 2019, I ask you today to pledge with me to continue to share life experiences, to continue to seek out listening opportunities, to yearn for additional knowledge, and be grateful for the determination instilled in us to complete our tasks today. I encourage you to mold your heart into a warrior and be your own best advocate. Take time to listen to those around you. Be slow to speak. Savor the experiences of those who have stood exactly where you are at this moment. Cherish your individuality as you prepare yourself to take your next journey. Let all of us reminisce how our hearts feel today as we forever leave our paw mark on Cullowee, as we call Western Carolina University home. Today I leave you with these thoughts. Never grow weary of working toward unity. Never grow weary of reaching for success. Never grow weary of doing good for each other. And above all, never grow weary of loving unconditionally. Congratulations to class of 2019 and go Cats! Thank you very much, Mary, for your words, your thoughtful remarks, and congratulations on your graduation today. It is always a joy to hear our students' speakers, and your journey is a reminder of why education is so important. I would now like to ask Interim Provost Starnes to begin today's presentations of candidates for degrees. Chancellor Brown, I now call upon the candidate for the Doctor of Education degree. This candidate, subject to the completion of all requirements established by the university and the graduate school, is recommended to you for the conferral of a degree. It is my pleasure to ask Brandon Sutton, candidate for the Doctor of Education degree, to proceed to the platform. Mr. Sutton will be escorted by his academic advisor and will be invested with a hood that is symbolic of this advanced academic degree. Dr. Brandon Sutton, 
hooded by his academic advisor, Dr. Brandy Hennett Crawford. Chancellor Brown, I now call upon the deans of the colleges to present to you the candidates for degrees. Dr. Brian Kleppel, Dean of the Graduate School. I ask all candidates for graduate degrees to please stand and remain standing. Chancellor Brown, the Graduate School is pleased and proud to present candidates for the following degrees. Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Public Affairs, Master of Science, and Specialist in School Psychology. Dr. Jill Granger, Dean of the Honors College. I ask all candidates for degrees who are members of the Honors College to please stand and remain standing. Chancellor Brown. The Honors College is pleased to present candidates who will graduate with full honors. Candidates who are graduating with full honors are distinguished by the Honors Medallion. Dr. David Kenner, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I ask all candidates <clears throat> for degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences to please stand and remain standing. Chancellor Brown, the College of Arts and Sciences is pleased to present these candidates for Bachelors of Arts and Bachelors of Science degrees. Dr. Kim Winner, Dean of the College of Education and Allied Professions. I ask all candidates from the College of Education and Allied Professions to please stand and remain standing. Chancellor Brown. We are pleased and proud to present the candidates for Bachelor of Science degree and Bachelor of Science in Education degree. Dr. George Brown, Dean of the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts. Will the creative class, the artists, Fine and Performing Arts, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Chancellor Brown. The Belcher College is proud to present these candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, the Bachelor of Music degree, and the Bachelor Chancellor Brown, all candidates for degrees have now been presented. Thank you, Dr. Starnes. I will now ask all faculty to stand and remain standing in support of these graduates and as their confirmation of meeting the rigorous standards set forth, set forth by the university. I now ask all Western Carolina University alumni present today on the platform and in the audience to stand and remain standing as witnesses to the conferral of these degrees and the acceptance of these students into the ranks of a loyal alumni. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the University of North Carolina Board of Governors and the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees, and upon the completion of all degree requirements, I confer upon these candidates the degrees for which they have been recommended with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Please join me in congratulating our newest graduates. Graduates, 
Each of you have worked diligently, passionately, and tirelessly, earning the distinct privilege to be seated here today before us. You have believed in your dreams. You have set sights on your goals. You have completed all the difficult and necessary tasks to reach this day, a day that represents one of the most significant milestones in your lifetime, a milestone that creates a future of unlimited possibilities. It is your hard work and perseverance that is the main reason that you are here today. The culmination of many long nights researching in the library, hundreds of hours of study and homework, many months of classes and experiential internships, hundreds of hours collaborating with your classmates, numerous evenings attending special events on our campus, and the list goes on and on. You hung in there no matter how tough it got, working with your tutors and advisors, meeting with your professors and staff. You have worked so hard to make it to this day, and you are now here. As citizens of the world, we face many challenges and many opportunities. Excellent health care for a changing population. Innovation in an age of automation and robotics. Development of sustainable and friendly energies. Access to affordable and high quality education. Construction and design of energy efficient homes and buildings. Supporting a burgeoning hospitality and tourism industry and the continual discovery in how to maintain the beauty and the biodiversity of places like Western North Carolina. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Graduates, it is now up to you to create the world in which you wish to live. It is your freshly born ideas that will create sustainable environments. It is your vision of the future that will eliminate poverty and hunger. It is your ability to take your educational experience and apply it to create international innovation and collaboration. And most importantly, peace, justice, and equality that will make it a reality for all. Graduates, the future is yours, and the world is counting on you. We live in exciting times a time where employment opportunities offer unique and fulfilling experiences. Many of you have already secured interviews or job offers, have plans to attend graduate school, or have come back to school recently to complete a degree you have may begun many years ago. Today, I want to share a few stories just to give you a sense of how well Western Carolina University has prepared our graduates for the future and the sacrifices you have made to reach this goal. Ms. Lauren LaPlante graduates today with a degree in chemistry. She will cross this stage as a student of both arts and sciences and the Honors College and is receiving a degree with highest honors. Lauren is truly a model student as her, her professors are proud to attest. Augmenting her classroom work Lauren engaged in research with Dr. Shauna De Silva, studying the synthesis of antimicrobial zinc oxide nanoparticles. She presented this research at a regional conference just last month. Over the last four years, Lauren also represented the Catamounts on the women's basketball team, often leading the team in points per game. She has truly embodied the can-do spirit of this institution and is destined for great things. Congratulations, Lauren. From the College of Education and Allied Professions, we have Jacob Osagada graduating today with a degree in health and physical education. Jacob has truly dedicated himself to his academics during his time here as a catamount. He has excelled as an intern at both the Catamount School and Fairview School and was also nominated as for an Outstanding Prospective Teacher Award. Jacob is a recipient of the Nathan Taylor Dodson Undergraduate Male and Scholarship Award from NC Shape. He is also co-represented for that organization's annual conference for the past two years. His program faculty and department head speak of Jacob glowingly and know that he will continue his dedicated work beyond Cullowee. 
Well done, Jacob. <laughs> graduating, to, graduating today from the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts is Mr. Blake Jones, who is receiving his degree in, his degree in music with a concentration in commercial music and audio production. In addition to maintaining his stellar grades throughout his time at Western Carolina University, Blake has been hard at work creating music. He was a driving force in the creation of the Fusion Ensemble, an innovative student ensemble that in its very first year of existence was selected to perform at the prestigious Jazz Educators Network Conference in Las Vegas. Blake wrote original music for that performance and continued to write and perform as a working professional artist as he completed his degree requirements. Congratulations, Blake, on receiving your degree. <laughs> From Western Carolina University's Finish Line program, Ms. Jacqueline Jackie Carter graduates today with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Jackie's path has been a difficult one. Originally enrolled in 2009 as a single mother in the wake of a divorce, she took a break from her coursework in 2010 due to the many responsibilities on her plate. In 2016, Jackie received an invitation to return to Western through the Finish Line program and jumped at the opportunity. Since her stint as a countermount, she has changed much has changed for Jackie. She is now married and has added another child to her family. She has continued to thrive professionally as well, even when maintaining her responsibilities to her family and academics. Jackie shared that she credits the responsive and encouraging first finish line team to inspiring her to return and finish. Jackie, congratulations on all your hard work and completion of your degree. These stories represent just a few of the graduates that are seated before us today. The passion and energy, the hope and the resilience on the faces before me, I must say, inspire us all, and we are so proud of you, our catamounts. Before graduates, once, a time, once, a, once upon a time, we stood before you to lead the way. Today, we stand behind you, ready to follow, and we stand beside you, ready to serve you as you lead us into the future. Congratulations, Catamounts, and go Cats! I now ask that all degree candidates to step forward to receive their diplomas. graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude, wear the gold cord. Candidates who have served or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces wear the red, white, and blue cords. Some graduates are wearing cords, stoles, or pins denoting their participation in or affiliation with an organization. Since each individual graduate is recognized by calling their name as they walk across the stage, we ask the entire audience to respect the graduates and their families by refraining from the use of artificial noisemakers such as air horns. We also ask that you remain seated and stay for the entire ceremony. From the Graduate School, College of Arts and Sciences, Christine Ann Kraft, Cody Franklin Eller, John Peter Falter. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Frediani. Landis Autumn Hollyfield. Alexandra Glenn Mangum. Zachary Kevin Morgan. Annika Honora Peacock.
Michael David Redman. Christopher Sean Robinson. Darby Glenn Terrell. From the Honors College, College of Arts and Sciences, Hannah Elizabeth Bailey, summa cum laude. <laughs> Chloe Leanne Bunn, magna cum laude. Tara Lee Nicole Burnett, cum laude. Dara Page Case, magna cum laude. Natalie Sue Davis, summa cum laude. Brianna Cheyenne Everhart, summa cum laude. Justin Lee Graham, magna cum laude. Miranda K. Holman, summa cum laude. Lauren Marina LaPlante, summa cum laude. Jacob K. Hill Lohman, magna cum laude. Skylar Isabel Lucas, summa cum laude. Danielle Victoria Matreic, magna cum laude. Michaela Marie Meyer, cum laude. Savannah Rose Redding, cum laude. Chandler Jacob Reese, summa cum laude. Stephanie Jo Skinner, cum laude. Brandon Craig Townsend, magna cum laude. Christy Zong, magna cum laude. From the College of Arts and Sciences, Levi Jarrett Allen, magna cum laude. Jacob Riley Anderson, magna cum laude. Lauren Bryce Arrowwood, magna cum laude. Chelsea Nicole Baker. Brandy Ballard Baldwin. Gary Michael Barham. William Daniel Bocco. Karen Griffin Biggert, summa cum laude. Kayla Michelle Boger. Silvetta Adorne Bost. Kristen Denise Bowers, summa cum laude. Jordan Nicholas Bowman. Jacob Thomas Braswell, cum laude. Alyssa Danielle Brendel, magna cum laude. Demosi Malik Brown Gorham. Haley Marie Bryson. Fiona Jane Buchanan. Aaron Linnell Campbell. Jordan Ashley Campbell. Bailey Lynn Kanzler, summa cum laude. Jack Stephen Cardwell. Jacqueline Odetta Carter. Austin Tyler Cosby. Ashley Chambliss, magna cum laude. 
Crandall Isaac Carver Close. Storm N. Cochran, cum laude. Megan Melissa Coggins. Elizabeth Lilia Cornejo, summa cum laude. Andrew Lynn Cothran. Cameron L. Couch. Albert DeWitt Crow Jr. Zachary Daniels. Chasey Leanne Davis, Magna Cum Laude. Noah Jackson Davis. Troy Alana Davis. Nicholas Deandra Dunlap. Miller Olivia Earnhardt. Harrison O'Neill Edmonds. Dylan Christopher Eggers. Christopher Escobedo, summa cum laude. Abigail Ladd Everett. Aaron Catherine Fox. Rosa Maria Francisco. John Donald Friedley. Leonardo Gomez Correa. Patrick Allen Gardner. Ryan William Gillig, cum laude. Thomas A.G. Joyello. Haley M. Goodwin. Jeremy Lewis Gordon, summa cum laude. Patrick Dylan Gray. William Cody Green. Elizabeth Ann Hawley, magna cum laude. Donald Spencer Hemingway. Christopher Stephen Henson is receiving his diploma from his father, Dr. Steve Henson, Associate Professor of Sales and Marketing. Jorge Hernandez. Jessica Elizabeth Hester. Sean Michael Higgins. Christopher James Hollingsworth. Mohammed Ibrahim. Mason Lee Jones. Moesha LaShawn Jones. Lane J. Kennedy. Matthew James Kiefer. Samantha Marie Kickenap. Taylor King. Cody James Kohler. Lachlan W. Krenz. Dawn Michelle Coolish. Joshua David Kylander, cum laude. Kevin Austin Long, magna cum laude. Kayla Marie Laduck.
April Von Ziel Lockhart. John Bradley Lopp. Grant Daniel Lucas. Cheyenne Rachel Lynch. Ashley Nicole May. Catherine Lon Manis. Christopher Gray Martin. Julian E. Martinez. Christopher James Masser. Casey Loy Mathis. Michael Ashley McDuffie, magna cum laude. Taylor Lane McLeod. Christian Craig McNeil, summa cum laude. Shonday Denise Moore, magna cum laude. Candace Lynn Moreau. Callaway James Morgan. Sierra Morrison. Savannah L. Mosteller, cum laude. Jacob Walker Malloy. Marshall Lyndon Murphy. Joshua Andrew Norris. Brittany Denise O'Neill. Andrea Antiveros, magna cum laude. Brandy K. Paget. Levi Denon Parham, summa cum laude. Michaela Nicole Parker. Sierra Jade Parsons. Carly Michaela Pearl. Joseph Kate Alexander Pearson. Ashley Nicole Penland. William Jacob Penley. George Fong, cum laude. Celeste Nina Pierre Lewis. Nicholas A. Peter Joyner. Joshua Lane Pope. Marla Marie Powell. Holden McCain Raxter. Chelsea B. Revis. Sierra Noel Rice. Trayvon Emmanuel Ricketts. Graceland Rose Rivera. Joseph Mark Robbins, magna cum laude. Callie Elizabeth Robinson, magna cum laude. John Joseph Rowe. Mark Anthony Rothermund, summa cum laude. Michael Patrick Severance. Cameron Alexander Sherwood, cum laude. Jacob Simpson.
Caleb Mitchell Smith. Catherine Rose Smith, summa cum laude. Timothy Jordan Smith, summa cum laude. Laura Catherine Staley. Ashlyn Blair Stillman, cum laude. Nicolette Elise Steelman. Sherlene Chantel Stotts. Alexander William Strever. Hannah Lynn Stiles, magna cum laude. Elijah Kenneth Taylor. Samuel Dalton Tidwell. Sarah Caitlin Toast. Robert Clint Tuttle, summa cum laude. Ashley Sharon Velasquez. Jessica N. Vernon. Dalton Lee Vital. Mary Margaret Warner. Heather Nicole Warringer. Jacob Todd Watson. Christina Isabel Worthwine Perez, magna cum laude. Joshua Stephen White. William G. White, cum laude. Jamie C. Whitfield. Joseph Clark Williams, cum laude. Spencer Faith Willis. Christopher Michael Wilson. Sierra Nicole Wilson. Henry Austin Wilson. Jacob Thomas Wilson. Sarah Isla Woods. Bradley Schuyler Weichel. From the Graduate School, College of Education and Allied Professions. Carolyn Grace Barbie. <laughs> Tiffany Parrish Barlow. Alexander Gray Bass. Abby Rose Burgess Manus. Alicia Terrell Clinton. Heather Dawn Copeland. Olivia Van Lannen Cosby. Nina Ingram Dorsey. Janet Louise Durham. Ursula Magura Finley. Felicia Michelle Gaskin Ivy. Hannah Grace Henry. Catherine Elizabeth Huntley. Abigail Jean Kirkman. Michelle Ann Lundy. 
Nancy Noel McDonald. Mary Elizabeth Mayo. Jeremy Nicholas McBride. Monique Merriweather Yarborough. Emily Lauren Miller. Terry Ann Phillips. Elizabeth Rose Schultz. Shanika Deshea Scott. Troy Allen Simerson Sr. William Preston Springer III. Elena Deanne Starnes. Melissa Faye Temple. Emily Morgan Wall. Brittany Pate Williams. Sarah Charlotte Brooks Wolf. Mainya Zong. From the Honors College, College of Education and Allied Professions, Madison Nicole Armstrong, summa cum laude. Jacob Daniel Siri, cum laude. Taylor Amanda Davis, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Marie Freeman, summa cum laude. Ashley Every Johnson, summa cum laude. Ethan Paul Lewis, magna cum laude. McKenna Lee Omer, cum laude. Caroline Elizabeth Payne, summa cum laude. Amy K. Strum, magna cum laude. From the College of Education and Allied Professions, Emily Grace Alexander. Lisa Maria Andres. Nolan Franklin Beasley, magna cum laude. Rachel Noel Birmingham. Brittany Nicole Bishop, cum laude. Sierra Brooke Bowling, cum laude. Brittany Baxley Bowman, summa cum laude. Gabrielle Genevieve Bradford, cum laude. Allison Rose Bridges, cum laude. Emily Michelle Brooks, cum laude. Abigail Page Brown. Kendall Shea Buchanan, cum laude. Kaylee Morgan Cantor. Sarah Frances Collins. Logan Fox Correll. Eric Cody Davis. Kirsten Danielle Davis. Emily Claire Dobson, cum laude. Matthew Chester Dodge, cum laude. Sydney Morgan Dodson, summa cum laude.
Brian Stone Farrell. Matthew Lee Ford. Madison Olivia Ford. Madison Lynn Garris, summa cum laude. Amanda Alexandria Gates. Cheyenne Cecilia Gordon, summa cum laude. Megan Nicole Hammer, summa cum laude. Tess Jordan Harris. Austin Cole Hawkins. Jack Conley Hayes, cum laude. Morgan Danielle Helton, magna cum laude. Jenna Sue Hammer. Kendall Brooke Henderson, cum laude. William Zachary Hess. Bethany Brooke Hicks, cum laude. Rebecca Alice Hollyfield. Callie Anna Holzhauser. Zachary Tyler Hutcherson, cum laude. Sydney Dawn Knupp, cum laude. Paula Michelle Keeter, summa cum laude. Dustin Thomas Coca, magna cum laude. Jessica Kate Leo. Nicholas Eric Lawson. Megan Ryan Lee, cum laude. Mary Hill Lewis, magna cum laude. Jesse Lewis Mays, magna cum laude. Dijon Charmique Makeupson. Alexandria Catherine Marler. Ashlyn Noel Mars. Cody Taylor McCombs. Chelsea Michelle McKinney, magna cum laude. Octavia Mercedes Mirabal, summa cum laude. Megan Grace Moore. Albert Spear Northrup. Jacob Luis Osegueda, cum laude. Garrett D. Perry. Olivia M. Penny. Winter Loren Perez, magna cum laude. John Thomas Perry. Landon Blair Potter. Go Cat! Kaylee Brooke Pulliam. Alexandra Gay Putman, cum laude. Mackenzie Courtney Queen, magna cum laude. Lisa Nicole Raxter. Mariah Michelle Richardson. Lydia Joy Rogers. Ashlyn Laurel Rowland, magna cum laude. Sydney Ashlyn Shope. Elizabeth Jane Sype. 
Spencer Allen Sloan. Lillian Hayes Stanberry, summa cum laude. Kayla Dawn Stanley. Alec Douglas Stewart. Jillian Grace Stewart, summa cum laude. David Cope Stinson. Connor Lawrence Taylor. Cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Nicole Trammell. <laughs> Haley A. Triplett. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Turner. <laughs> Kristen Tyler. <laughs> Mackenzie Caitlin Tyler. Cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas Adam Vassy. William Timmerman Walker, Jr. Barrett Michael Wong. Amber Diane Whitaker, Magna Cum Laude. Connor Anthony White. Sarah Ashley Wicker. Diane Adams Wiggins, Magna Cum Laude. Crystal Lynn Williams, Magna Cum Laude. Samuel Theron Wilson. Michelle Elaine Yao. Garner Cole Young, Cum Laude. From the Honors College, David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts, Zoe Angeline Branson, Magna Cum Laude. Allison Nicole Kabrick, Summa Cum Laude. From the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts, Zachary Scott Alexander, Magna Cum Laude. James Weaver Banish, Andrew Stephen Beck. Autumn Noel Cravens, Magna Cum Laude. Mitchell E. Faust. Connor Francis Frico. Isabel Page Hernandez, Summa Cum Laude. Sarah Ann Jolly. Blake Stephen Jones, Cum Laude. Charles Jackson Payne III. Kristen Danielle Ray. Kayla Beth Rossier, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Evan Schulman. Kimberly A. Springs. Danielle Kathleen Circus. Elijah Stiller Troutman. Lindsay Joy Turner, summa cum laude. Paul Jeremiah Vinciguerra III. Aaron Bell Wilhoit. Scott Ryan Wilson. Chancellor Brown, all candidates for degrees have now been presented. as we just pause for a few minutes for our graduates to return to their seats.
come on, come on. Okay, we're gonna sing the fight song, Pause, okay? <laughs> about using the word pause I guess so okay well thank you again okay now the moment that you've all been waiting for graduates please rise now move your tassel from the left to the right signifying your degrees there you go Woo! You now may be seated. You are now alumni of Western Carolina University, and I now will introduce Mr. Ed Holland, president of the WCU Alumni Association, to greet you as alumni colleagues. Well, good morning. You're supposed to say good morning. <laughs> good morning, Catamount family. My name is Ed Holland, and I am the president of the WCU Alumni Association. It is my true, it is my pleasure to congratulate you today on your accomplishments and to, and to welcome you into the ranks of Western Carolina University alumni. I remind you today that you make a very meaningful transition. Up until now, it's been the university's role to fill you with knowledge, to give you the skills necessary to pursue your future. You leave here today with a new role as alumni to represent Western Carolina University. To your friends, to your family, your employers, colleagues, and all those who you will come in contact with in the years ahead. You've made memories here today and the last four years to last a lifetime. But I encourage you not to let this be the end of your Catamount journey. Stay connected with WCU. Participate in alumni events, and make your network strong. Take advantage of the services that remain available to you through the Center for Professional and Career Development. Return to Western Carolina to share your experiences and with future generations and graduates. Make WCU a philanthropic priority as your financial contributions can make a difference in the lives of those students who follow in your footsteps. And most importantly of all, remain a part of what makes this place so special, the community. Each year I find new inspiration in the faces of our graduates and the future is bright for the class of 2019. I look forward to continuing to serve you as Alumni Association President and hearing about all the wonderful things you will do. Thank you and go Cats. At this time I will turn the program back over to Chancellor Brown. Thank you, Ed, for your remarks and bringing greetings from the WCU Alumni Association. Before we conclude today, let me acknowledge some special individuals who, have, who are part of our ceremony today. First, I salute all members of the graduating class who are veterans, active duty, guard or reserve members. 
Western Carolina University takes great pride in being a military-friendly university, and we are so proud of you. Would those students please stand so that we may express our appreciation for your service? Please stand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Next, let me recognize the families of our graduates. Graduates, please hold your enthusiasm until all have been recognized. Will the parents or guardians of our graduates please stand? Please still stay standing, stay standing, stay standing. Will the spouses and children of our graduates please stand? Will the grandparents and other family members please stand? Will the special friends of the graduates please stand? Now, now it is my pleasure to invite our graduates to rise and show their appreciation for your love, support, and commitment for their future. You may be seated. Thank you all. Thank you. This is a wonderful day. A ceremony like this does not just happen. Please join me in thanking the army of colleagues from every part of the campus who had a part in making this ceremony a very special occasion for all of us. Let's give them all a hand. At the conclusion of this ceremony, we invite all graduates and their families to bring their friends to briefly greet with the faculty and the deans of their college in the designated areas on the concourse. Please see the inside back cover of your program for the college locations. I want to thank you all for joining us today to share this momentous occasion in the life of our university. Now please rise as we sing the alma mater led by Madison Garris and remain standing for the recessional. Following the recessional, this ceremony will be concluded. Again, congratulations, graduates, and go Cats! Go Cats!